Hello everybody, my name is Cool Blue, and I'm bringing you guys this video. This is going to be a Sony Vegas tutorial type thing. Uh, I'm not too terribly huge in the tutorial world, but I mean, this is going to be something that I, that I found out in Sony Vegas that might help a lot of people out. Uh, so this whole topic of this video is going to be speeding up and slowing down clips using both velocity and also using time compression and all this stuff. And uh, if anybody uses Sony Vegas for video editing, um, you know that there may be one or two ways that you know, but there's another way that might be a lot helpful that you can kind of wait, kind of combine time compression and also velocity. And uh, I just wanted to explain this or make a video explaining this because it took me forever to figure this out. And I feel like everybody else in the world might appreciate somebody actually making a video about it. So, um, long story short, I have a video clip that has a lot of parts that are relatively lengthy and they're pretty much just me doing something. And I want to speed those parts up, but I want to show it to the person who's watching. So I have one of my video clips here, uh, this is a very long video clip, it's a two hour video clip. Um, there's a lot of parts in here that need to be sped up, so I can go ahead and make this as short as possible. So, um, like I said, I'm not going to too ter- yeah, I spend a lot of time explaining what's going on, uh, but we're going to go ahead and just speed up, let's just say I want to speed up from this section to that section, so let me zoom out a little bit. <clears throat> So when I, when I select that long section, you guys can see that's about a seven minute selection as noted down here. So it's a seven minute section that I kind of want to make sped up, but I want to show the whole entire thing. I don't necessarily want to do a straight up jump cut. So what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to go ahead and split that out. And uh, one of the first ways you can speed up a clip is by holding down control. Oh, wrong way. Holding down control, and when you get to the end, if I go control here, you see a little squiggly line show up and it goes into time stretch. Uh, time stretch allows me to, or allows you to stretch out your clip and allows you to pull down your clip. The only limitation of time stretch is that the best it can do, and I've read this everywhere, and I, there's a way for you to figure out here, but I forgot. Uh, but it, the most you can do is you can bring it down to, or make it speed it up by times four. So you make it go four times faster, which is okay in a lot of cases. Uh, but as you guys can see, this clip is still a whole entire one minute, 50 seconds long. I don't necessarily want to have people who are watching my video to sit there for a whole entire one minute, 50 seconds, waiting for me to finally start talking or do something interesting. So uh, another way, another thing you can do is you can also use velocity. Now velocity is really cool because velocity lets you speed up your clip by 3% or 300% or three times faster. And uh, by combining both velocity and also combining this time compression thing, uh, you can go ahead and have yourself a times 12 clip. That said, um, <laughs> one of the things that I couldn't find anywhere on the internet was how to make something work the way I wanted it to. And, and I'll, I'll explain in a second. Let me first show you velocity. So velocity, the way it works is basically if you right click on one of your clips and then you go into insert remo slash remove envelope and you go into velocity, it will bring up this little line here. And this little line that we have through here. Uh, you can just basically use this to move your video, make it go faster, make it go slower. Uh, you can do a lot of really cool things with velocity. Um, you can you can make a variable variable velocity, so you can add, or double click and to add little dots. I'm not necessarily going to cover that here in my video because you can find a thousand other videos that go over that in very very good detail. So go check those videos out. Um, I might link a few in my uh, description, so check that out. Um, but what I'm here concerned about is I'm concerned about speeding this clip up more. And velocity is nice because, like I said, you can make this video go times 12 instead of just times 4 with uh, just compression. So basically, by simply dragging the line all the way up, you see right there it increases it by 300% on the velocity, and that's basically a four a four times fast video going three times faster. So that's 12% total because it adds multi multiplicatively or whatever it's called. Uh, so this is a times 12 clip. The only issue that I had whenever I was doing this is that whenever you do that, it doesn't necessarily retain the original length. So just to give you guys a quick uh, example, you guys can see right here, my clip ends right there with me walking towards the pile of uh, tabletop games I have on the floor. And uh, if I go ahead and increase the velocity by 300%, my clip now ends somewhere way down, down the line that I actually don't want it to end. Like I kind of have cuts in between that. And uh, now I got to search through here and figure out, okay, which part, which part is the one I'm looking for? Is it over here? Is it over there? It's really annoying. It was really frustrating. So um, what I found out that you have to do in order to retain your original length. Uh, there's no automatic way to do it, not that I've found so far, I might find one later. Uh, but what you have to do is you have to basically create a subclip, which makes a lot of sense, you know, now that I know it, it, makes, it makes sense now, but uh, before it didn't make sense. So what I can do is I can go ahead and right click into this, 
and uh, when you do that you can click into create subclip and what that does is that makes a subclip in your project media uh, the subclip comes up as basically a clip that's specifically cut at those two points now the subclip itself can still extend past where you cut it at but it basically adds a keyframe marker inside of it and uh, it's visible whenever you do your edits so what I can do now is when I increase my velocity, you guys will see like a very, very, very faint little triangle, which is right there. And that's perfect, because that's exactly what I wanted. Yeah, I had to do an extra step to get to what I wanted to get to, but it's okay. So now what I can do is I can just go ahead and find a little triangle, find that keyframe, and just do a nice little cut here, and delete all that. And just like that, I basically increase my time clip, or reduce my time clip size from um, uh, 7 minutes initially to 1 minute 50 seconds and I reduce it from 1 minute 50 seconds to 36 seconds which is still a decent amount of time I'm probably going to have to go back and cut through this but that's stuff for me to figure out as an editor and that's basically all I really want to cover in my video so I don't necessarily want this video to go too terribly long that was just one little thing that I found that, found that was very useful that I thought maybe a lot of people out there might not know about that might be very useful so go ahead and use that in your project um, just to give you guys a visual I forgot to actually play the clip so you guys can see that it was actually moving faster but that's uh, the clip in the pre-render screen moving at times 12 stop and let's go ahead and do what I just did and let's play the same clip before this is a uh, times four and it's moving a lot slower so you guys get the basic picture I'm not gonna spend too terribly much time like I said explaining much of this uh, because uh, everything else is just you and your creative process so hopefully this video is helpful to some people out there like I said I finally figured it out and I finally wanted to just I just want to make a video put it out there because I know maybe there's many other people out there who have the same exact question so uh, hopefully this is helpful to you so that's it um, you guys can also go check out my other videos and stuff if you want no pressure you can I make vlogs and stuff and that's really it so hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always I will see you guys whenever